Hello everybody! This video will give you a little taste of what Valhalla Hills has in store for you. So, I'll just start a new game by randomly generating an island. It's all about a bunch of Vikings who made it to Valhalla's gates but ultimately didn't get in. They won't put up with this and are eager to earn their place in Valhalla the honorable way by building towns and claiming victory in the battles to come. Initially, resources for buildings are scattered on the ground and the Vikings just have to pick them up. By the way, you can just rename your Vikings if you want. I'll just call this one Olaf. The starting area of each island is this rock, where you can recruit new Vikings for more efficient building and fighting. Your reinforcements depend on the number of houses you've built. If your Vikings are near a portal, you can open it. In-game accomplishments and defeating enemies unlock plenty of new content like buildings, items, and they even changed the island itself. Or frankly, there's always something new you can look forward to. Depending on your progress though, groups of enemies may attack you from the portals if you choose to open them. You have to defeat them to finish the current island. So, if you don't want to run into nasty surprises, better prepare yourself. However, violence is not the only option. You can also build an altar and appease your enemy with a certain amount of resources. But in this case, I choose to fight. You can't properly go to war without a war camp, so I build one and arm my Vikings. After that, I can relocate my camp to where the action is. In this case, the enemies are still quite the pushovers. Later in the game, your foes will be more formidable and you should prepare your warriors accordingly. Unfortunately, that didn't happen here. If you vanquish all enemies emerging from a portal, you can start a new, bigger island or continue playing your recent map. The Vikings can take care of themselves and grab whatever tools they need. It's on the player to assign tasks, set buildings near resources, restock supplies in case anything's missing, arm the fighters, and to take care of many other things. Your Vikings may get tired or hungry, so good supply lines are essential. If they lack anything, it will have negative effects on the Vikings sooner or later. Buildings complement each other. If we build a farm here, you can harvest grain. The grain will be processed in the mill and your baker can turn it into bread. There you go, that takes care of food. If you want to speed up this process, you can always adjust the game speed. You can also pause and take a look around.
By now, our Vikings are pretty well armed and have an easier time dealing with their enemies. Also, they share the island with more and more animals you can turn into food by building a hunting lodge. Let's skip a few islands. We gained quite some building space. The only problem is, we have to share that space with some ill-tempered beasts. So you better be very careful when treating new ground. The islands, by the way, will get even bigger in the course of the game. We are eager to see how your own settlements turn out. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction of Valhalla Hills. The game is still in development, so you can definitely look forward to more features and improvements.